is kind of like a magic show. Static, no static. Static, no static. I'm here at the stand for Sense Tech Innovation Company with William Root, CTO, and he's got some really cool stuff for me, and it's really based around filters and astrophotography as well, right? So uh, take me through, actually there's one in particular that I thought was very, very, very cool, which was the clip filter for your sensors. Uh, could you take me through that and also the science behind it as well? Okay, right now we have the uh, Sony clip filter for yeah. A7 4 frame and uh, uh, Nikon 4 frame. Canon, APS-C, that's just like oh, yeah. this. You just put your filter inside in here. Yeah. That, that's cool. Behind here, we have the PU. We, we, we make a PU uh, coating okay. on it. So don't worry about yeah. directly hit the, your sensor. Right, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so that's why I put here. Yeah. Oh, no drop. Cool. So at first, so first when, um, so when, when uh, Dan told me about this, um, he said, oh, it just goes right in front of the sensor. So my, my, my thought was like, oh, so you have to like open dangerous. up the mirror and then go in. But then no, actually, uh, it APS -C sits... APS-C have. Yeah, oh, yeah, for APS-C, it just yes. sits right in front of the mirror. But for them, we have to uh, lift up the mirror. Okay, okay, okay. And uh, our solution we, uh, is very special because I use the standard 304. It's a magnet less, no magnet. No magnets. Very and uh, though, in yeah. these two, I have uh, another two spring. Okay. Why I make these two? I have a pattern. This is because when I put in your cap put in camera, these two these two spring will oh uh, will connect stop. with with your lens. Yeah, so you don't need to worry about it will drop. And uh, all one filter you can use it in all lens. You can save a lot of money. This is another good way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In addition to this, what William was saying is that for the one that you put in your full frame. So as you saw just now, um, it fits. You have to use mirror lockup, fit the filter in in front of the sensor, and then that's and then put the lens on and that's how it fits. Now some of you might be wondering, that can, does that mean you can't use a viewfinder because the mirror's up? Well, that means yes. But then for astrophotography, for this purpose is really just for astrophotography. And so you're not really gonna be using the viewfinder for astrophotography. Most of it is just LCD, you get to magnify punch in, seeing how much you're in focus or out of focus. And that's really the purpose of it. There were some mentions or concerns about autofocus, but this is a modified version, so there is a lot significantly less autofocus problems. So this, uh, and especially if you're gonna be manually focusing anyway in astrophotography, that shouldn't really be too much of a problem. But there's another one that you guys have, which is a dual narrow, uh, narrow band filter as well. Uh, now, he said it's, has, it's been very, very hard to make. And what do you call this? You call this the... Uh, high light pollution. High. Serial light, light pollution. Because, <laughs> okay, so if you look at this, it looks like it just looks like a mirror, but this is, this is pretty cool. Uh, can yeah. you explain to me which wave makes it completely cuts out? Only pass. The uh, uh, important uh, uh, light wave from the sky is H alpha and O3. These two, and each each peak is only six nanometer. This is very very hard to make. Very hard to make. Very, the your rate is very low. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, well, explain to me what how much hard work goes into making something like this. Uh, because as as we know, this technology is based on the AR technology, anti reflection. We we reflect what I don't want right. to reflect now. And normally, standard AR, we use the SIL2, TIL05, SIL2, TIL05, or MGF2, right. different type of material, and then layer by layer to coating. Sure. To coating on. For example, my standard uh, light pollution filter is 142 layers of the coating, yeah. not including the outside protection, AS and AR, AR with, uh, uh, no, AS and NSAT, not okay. including, only the Light wave, I already have to layer by many, many layers. Okay. More layer, you will be more sharp. More layer will be more sharp. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, more time to use. Okay. And all of our, our um, uh, coding machine, we have uh, I, I, uh, plasma. We use plasma to impact the material, then fly to the, to the chamber to coding. Wow. Yeah. 
I should, so basically the specs of yellow, which are actually quite unwanted in national photography, if you're taking long exposures, where you're in a city where there's lots of light pollution, there's, there's some wavelengths that you really don't want. This little um, filter here, I'll show you what it does. So I'm gonna have a look at the sodium light right there. So that little spec, these specs, this filter, have a look. Gone. This is an uh, extremely fair test. It's just to show you, you know, the wavelengths that it does cut out, and it is pretty cool. So, and then there's that dual narrowband filter, which is the the mega the mega filter, I call it. <laughs> See how that looks. Ooh, wow. This just makes like a very cool color filter. Actually, you can use yeah. it during the daytime. Cool. Look at that. That's incredible. So this, I mean, this is all done in Taiwan as well. Yes, in Taiwan. So all the kind of uh, research is in Taiwan and also yes. produced in Taiwan. Yes, design, everything in Taiwan. Okay, if you're diving, you will know the, in, a, in the water, different depths of the water, the blue is different. Because the more deep, more blue, so red, less the red. So we use this one to compensate by yourself. Compensate the red by yourself. Ooh, look if at I that. Want to chase, chase the turtle go up go down go up go down then i just directly change i can change the video here is yeah. the video you can see the video here oh i see yeah yeah yeah, it yeah, the yeah. we got a, a reward for the red dot that, that is cool that that is cool that is very cool i, I don't know if i mean is, is there has there been other products like that before? Is this one of the first? I think it was one. That's why we get a reward <laughs> for the red dot. This, so this has got an award for red dot. I, I haven't actually seen, correct me if I'm wrong, I haven't actually personally seen anything else like that. Um, and uh, I, actually, I made, I designed this for can open. Why? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have a, a water pressure hole. So oh. if you into the water, the water will go in and you can open to clean. Okay. If you fix, then it's very hard to clean. So okay. I, because I have, I'm a diver. So oh, I know, yeah, 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 that's why I designed this ah, for myself. Yeah, yeah. This is my toy. <laughs> <laughs> One more thing, I saw oh, more, more. We have a lot of interesting <laughs> yeah. products. I think it's suitable for you. It's a variable color temperature. Oh, look at that. For the video, it's I, very... <laughs> I haven't seen that before. I don't know, I don't know if it's been anyone else making this kind of stuff. <laughs> no, okay. You see, the light, uh, light temperature from uh, uh, 2,600... 900 to 6,300 K. 2009 to 6,003? Yes. Okay. So, as you can see right now, it's obviously completely wrong color temperature. But what if I had a filter that could gradually change it for me? Oh, oh, oh. Is that right? No. I mean, he's literally correcting himself right now using that ND filter. Well, not sorry, using the filter. That is cool. Oh, well, thank you very much, thank you. William. Oh, I've got this in between my hands. <laughs> got the sound. Thank you very much again. Thank uh, you. Yeah, so that's cool. Uh, if you're into astrophotography, definitely check them out. Uh, I think they've got some really interesting things, especially that clip filter in front of your sensor. I think that is, for me, one of the coolest things that I've seen in the show, seriously. Uh, so yeah, cool. Thank you. All right, thank you.